Tulane and Houston, you know, interesting. Houston got some chance to maybe be spoiler, maybe knock UCF out. Who knows? They got Derrick King, very talented quarterback, who'd leave the game due to injury, not return. Cougars would be in control of this one throughout against Tulane, who, despite the fact that early Kyler is on their helmet, uh, haven't won every game. Meanwhile, Ed Oliver, projected top five pick, sitting out his fourth game in a row due to a knee injury. Before the game, how's the knee? All right, well, he's out there running around, showing his chops in the receiver game. Um, fast forward to the second quarter, his head coach, Major Applewhite, gets Oliver's attention and says, that that jacket you got on, that's, that's, that's for guys that are playing in the game. Chilly night in Houston. Hmm. Um, and now, Oliver's not having it. He's yelling at his coach, shoving his teammates. Not a great scene. He would not come out for the second half. Here's his head coach afterwards. We, we just have a rule uh, on the sideline that guys that are participating in the games, and specifically starters, you know, that they have jackets so they can stay cool. And I went and talked to him at first, and I think he was upset that I took it from him, and I wanted to go back and explain to him that, you know, I've asked other people tonight to take it off. And I just want you to understand that I'm not singling you out. I'm not trying to pick you out. I've asked other guys on the sideline to take it off. I'm trying to be fair. You know, I'm just going to visit with him about it. Uh, I love him. I want him to be a part of our team. I want him to be with our team. It's, it's really nothing more than that. Um, you'd be amazed how many emotional things you deal with all the time. Uh, with players so you know this is just one that you see but we deal with things like this all the time as coaches that's part of our job. Joined now by Laura Rutledge from Houston and Laura we we saw the incident unfold you're there on the sideline you spoke to his coach Major Applewhite afterwards what more can you share for us about what happened and what led to it. Well, yeah, Scott, it's all about this jacket, basically. And I guess we're unofficially calling this jacket gate. But Ed Oliver was chilly on the sideline, wanted to put this on. They had these jackets along the benches for players who were playing in the game. And when he had the jacket on, Major Applewhite came over and said, you can't wear that jacket if, if you're not playing in the game. Obviously, Ed Oliver took exception to that. That's when the confrontation happened that you guys have seen on video. When they came out of halftime, I asked Major Applewhite, Applewhite, if Ed Oliver could return and be on the sidelines, he said, yeah, Ed can do whatever he wants to do. And so we never saw Ed Oliver come back out. We assume he didn't want to come back out considering that it was his decision. But one thing that I thought was really interesting that we just heard from Applewhite is he said, I understand one way or the other, whatever he decides to do, I know what he's dealing with. I think that was his coach giving Ed Oliver a little bit of an out if he decides that he doesn't want to play the rest of the season. One other thing, too, to think about. This was the last night that Ed Oliver would be home in Houston. This place does mean a lot to him. Of course, next week game is on the road. But I imagine if it's for a championship, Scott, that's where we may see Ed Oliver play. Otherwise, I think it's doubtful that we'll see him play again for Houston. Laura, appreciate the time. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll talk again soon, okay? Thank you. I'm going to go put the jacket on. Oh, someone took it. Never mind. All right. <laughs> you can't. You didn't play in the game. You can't wear the jacket. That's the rules. Not allowed. All right, see you.